Welcome to today's video on the Voltage Controlled Voltage Source or VCVS. In the world of electronic circuits, the VCVS plays a crucial role in allowing us to control voltages at different parts of a circuit using the voltage at another part. Let's start by looking at the symbol for a VCVS. It is represented by a diamond shaped block with two terminals. This symbol indicates that the voltage across the VCVS, which we'll call VD, is directly proportional to the controlling voltage, which we'll call VC. To understand this better, imagine we have a circuit where the controlling voltage, VC, is derived from the voltage across a specific circuit element located elsewhere. By adjusting the voltage of that circuit element, we can effectively control the output voltage, VD, of the VCVS. The relationship between the controlled voltage, VD, and the controlling voltage, VC, can be expressed mathematically as VD equals KV asterisk VC. In this equation, K represents the proportionality constant. It is measured in volts per volt, V slash V, and determines the sensitivity or gain of the VCVS. Essentially, K tells us how much the output voltage will change in response to a given change in the controlling voltage. By adjusting the value of K and manipulating the controlling voltage, VC, we have precise control over the output voltage, VD, of the VCVS. Increasing the value of K will result in a larger change in the output voltage for a given change in the controlling voltage, making the VCVS more sensitive. The VCVS finds extensive applications in various electronic systems. One common application is in amplifiers. By using a VCVS, we can control the amplification of signals based on the controlling voltage. This allows us to adjust the volume or gain of the amplifier according to our needs. The VCVS is also used in oscillators, which generate periodic waveforms. By controlling the voltage that determines the frequency of the oscillator, we can produce different tones and frequencies in electronic music or signal generation. Another application of the VCVS is in filters, where we can adjust the cutoff frequency based on the controlling voltage. This enables us to selectively pass or reject certain frequencies in a signal, contributing to various filtering techniques used in audio processing, communication systems, and more. To summarize, the Voltage Controlled Voltage Source, VCVS, is a fundamental component in electronic circuits, allowing us to control voltages at different parts of a circuit based on the voltage at another part. By adjusting the proportionality constant K and manipulating the controlling voltage, we can precisely control the output voltage. This functionality is widely used in amplifiers, oscillators, filters, and many other electronic systems. And that concludes our video on the Voltage Controlled Voltage Source, VCVS. We have explored how this component allows us to control voltages in electronic circuits based on the voltage at another part. By understanding the relationship between the controlled voltage, VD, and the controlling voltage, VC, we can adjust the output voltage with precision using the proportionality constant K. The VCVS has a wide range of applications, including amplifiers, oscillators, and filters, where it enables us to manipulate signals, generate waveforms, and implement selective frequency response. I hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of the VCVS and its significance in electronic circuits. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative content.